Let's solve this system of conics. Notice that this system of equations right here, I have a circle and a parabola. So if I'm thinking of a circle and a parabola, I'm, I'm, I can have two solutions. I could, I guess conceivably, maybe I could have four solutions if it's like that. I could have no solutions if it's like that. Or I could have one solution if it's like that. And can I have three solutions? Maybe, yeah, I could even have three solutions if it's maybe something like that, where it's one, two, three. So there's lots of possibilities. So let's see which one this is. And it doesn't really matter what the, the number of solutions. I'm going to find them by doing the algebra correctly. So the easiest way to do this is to start by eliminating the x squared because, well, it's easy, number one. And number two, notice that I have a y squared and a y, so I can't really eliminate that. Mm -hmm. I don't have a y squared in both equations or a y in both equations. So... I'm going to eliminate the x squared, and my equation when I combine these together is going to be y squared plus y equals 20. Now I'm going to solve this quadratic equation, and fortunately it factors into y plus 5, y minus 4. Check in my head when I foil it back out, and yet that's how it factors. And so y equals negative 5 and y equals positive 4 are my two uh, values of of y and now I'm going to plug it in might, might as well plug it into the easier one into my easier equation up here negative 5 I'm plugging that in for y minus x squared equals negative 5 so when I solve this I get x equals 0 so one of my solutions is 0 comma negative 5 I'll do this other one in a different color I'll use orange now let's plug in 4 when I plug in 4 for y, I get that. Well, again, I'm plugging 4 in for y into that bottom, that red equation. And when I plug that in, I get negative y squared equals negative 9, which means y squared equals positive 9, which means, sorry, well, I said y squared, I meant x squared, which means x either equals plus or minus 3. So I get 3 comma 4 and negative 3 comma 4. And so I have three equations, I'm sorry, three solutions for the system of equations. And just for good measure, I check them by plugging them in up here. If I plug in 0 to the green equation and negative 5, I will get 25. And if I plug in negative 3 and positive 4, I get the right equations. Now, I get the solution works as well. Now, the other thing you might want to wonder is, well, how about 0, positive 5? 0, positive 5 would have worked in this first equation as well and that's true however it wouldn't have worked in this second equation 0 positive 5 doesn't work in the second equation so it's only a solution to the top equation which means it's not a solution to the system and so those are your answers